Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 21 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss about another conditional flow that is case statement. Case is just an alternative to the switch statement of other programming languages like C and C++. Let's look at the example here. In the example at my screen, you can see that how I have implemented case and when statement. Though this is a very simple implementation, but uh, I believe this is very uh, good enough to understand the how case and when statement works. So the case statement is always used with when keyword. The case keyword has the target expression and when keyword has the comparison expression. You can provide the target expression to the case statement and that will be compared with the expression into when statement. So here you can see that I have a expression or a variable as into which I am getting input from the user and I am providing this as, as a target statement to the case and these ranges into the when statement are the comparison expression or the comparison statements. Okay. And once a match is there, the result has been achieved. So, for example, if user provides the age, let's say 5, then the result is the person is kid. If the person person's age lies between 13 to 18, let's say it's 14, then the user is teenager. If the user's age or the person's age lies between 19 to 45, then user is or person is young and same for the 46 and 90 and just like if and else sorry just like if and else there is example that if the user's s does not lie between any of the when case then this else part is executed where you will see the result that i have no idea what to say about this okay so and the else part will be executed when the target expression in the case does not match with any of the when expression okay and in that case you can use else the working of else statement here is same as if else statement okay let's try to execute you can see this example okay now let's try to run it on terminal let's say ruby conditional flow.rb here i'm providing the s12 so it is displaying person is kid here you can see is case is between 1 to 12 then person is kid now if i provide is let's say 14 sorry let's run this file first and provide is 14 then person is teenage okay clear now if i provide is between 19 to 45 let's say i provide 34 then person is young and now if i provide age between 46 to 90 let's say i provide 57 then person is senior citizen and now if any if the age provided by user is out of any of the range mentioned in the when statement then it will execute the else part now you can see let's say 99 now you will see i have no idea what to say about this so this is very simple implementation of when and case now there is one more way to use this when and case statement using then keyword you can use it like uh, this as well but the then keyword will be used only when you want to return the result into the same line with the when case okay if you convert this program into like this let's say then now if you execute the program then you will get the same idea the same output clear the file console let's provide the stl you can see person is killed uh, 15 person is teenage let's say 19 then person is young so let's say 41 then person is young again if you provide 
6078 then person is senior citizen and if you provide 99 then i have no idea what to say about this so here we see uh, two different implementations about uh, case for case and when now one thing to remember that case statement always use this operator for matching the condition okay by default so if you have this value then it means we are comparing like age equal to let's say 19 let's say 20 and 30 so it uses this equality operator for making the comparison between ex target statement of case uh, target expression of case statement and comparison expression of when statement okay so now it is the question time let's see what questions we can make from this session so what is case and when statement in ruby another one is what is then keyword and when it is used with case and how the comparer is comparison is done in case when statement so it's used using the triple equal comparison operator or equality operator and when it is required to use else keyword with case statement okay so that's the brief explanation about the case statement in ruby in the next lecture we will look at the unless conditional block in ruby and till then thanks for watching this video let's meet into the next lecture tata goodbye take care and stay safe